that dust that has been coming in from the Sahara Desert all the way from Africa, some parts of the, this Curacao region kind of look like a winter wonderland because of the dust that has settled on the trees, to me at least, to my imagination. As we drive along, maybe we'll be lucky to spot some of the local inhabitants of uh, the, this area, the birds and the bees. And uh, One of the birds we may encounter is a bird of prey that we call the Warawara. The Warawara is the largest bird of prey on the island of Curacao. You'll usually see him or her perched on top of a cactus, a candle cactus, waiting for his next happy meal to stroll by. This happy meal could be a little lizard, could be a little birdie, could also be a little hare if he's extremely lucky. If he's very, very lucky, he may catch a small snake. Very difficult to catch though, those little snakes are usually in the caves and they come out at, at, at night. The snakes in Curacao are about a foot long, non-venomous, so they're not really very exciting to deal with. The, the dry, oh I didn't, sorry, that sounds sorry, as I'm going to say now, the dry season in Curacao is from the, from the month of September up to February. Unfortunately, we get very little rain on this beautiful island, very little. So it's a good thing the trees know how to adapt to this. How do they adapt? They have small leaves, they have thorns, or as the cacti, they have thick skin. Otherwise, they wouldn't make it through this difficult period. Speaking of birds, 